Subject of the North Carolina Tar Heels. CBS's Greg Doyle wrote this. You know, they had a tough game this past weekend against LSU. They could have won it, didn't. Lost by six points. Guess LSU with all their guys suspended, right? Indefinitely or whatever. Held out is the term. Held out, right? This is what this guy Greg Doyle wrote. And I don't know who he is, really. I just know he writes for CBS. And keep in mind, before I read this, he's there to ruffle people's feathers. That's his job is to ruffle people's feathers. So he says this. And it's the article starts like this. If only North Carolina could forfeit the rest of the season. That's what North Carolina deserves. That's what college football deserves, too. We deserve to not have that program currently in the middle of two enormous and distinctly unrelated scandals foisted upon us. Foisted. Ladies and gentlemen. The college football season is a three-month-long celebration of sport. It's confetti, strobe lights, and a kazoo. It's a party. It's a punch bowl. North Carolina is the turd floating in there. Dude. I looked at that and I went, just what I said, I went, dude. That's CBS's Greg Doyle. That's what he wrote in his article on CBS. You know, and here's the thing. This was just intuition on my part. I just knew that there would be, and it happened today, I just knew that there would be some sort of feel-good story about the Tar Heels somehow in the News and Observer today, and there was. There was a darn story about... Roy Williams. If this were back in the day, I'm here to tell you. If this were back in the day, the NNO would be emptying Jim Valvano's trash cans and following him to the bathroom. (laughs) But they can't do that now because they have no investigative staff anymore. Right, it's all been let go. Have you seen that pamphlet of a newspaper anymore? Yes. You know, all I can do is write these lame, worthless articles now.